there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's Monday evening here in the UK, uh, Monday afternoon across the States. That means, of course, it's time for Monday Makers at one point in the week, where we maybe go a little bit more in depth. There's definitely something that everyone's going to be able to, uh, some hints and tips that everyone's going to be able to pick up. There's also some great deals, some wonderful bargains in the show, and we'll have brilliant demonstrations and inspiration. Thanks, of course, uh, to the lovely Debbie Fisher, who's back with me. How are you, Debbie? If it's this next couple of hours, so <laughs> and, and we have been laughing a lot. So if we giggle throughout, we do apologise. So uh, yeah, but it's going to be a fun show, Joe. It is going to be a really fun show. You can get involved as well. It's very easy. Uh, Crafters TV on Facebook. If you want to come have a little nap with us, Crafters Companion. If you are across on YouTube, it's the birthday hangover. We're calling it, aren't we, Debbie? Absolutely. It's definitely been the birthday hangover today. <laughs> Although I probably felt a bit tipsy laughing so much. <laughs> it's been one of those days. It's yeah. going to be one of those shows. It really is. Uh, Debbie's been doing a cat impression for about three hours before wow. the show. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Oh, no, just not a cat in sight as well, Joe. Not a cat in sight, no. Right, shall we get straight into it? Let's start <laughs> off uh, with the statement word edgeables. These have been so popular since we launched them. Uh, they are fantastic. And the great thing is that they give you uh, an edgeable design. So that means that all those edgeable techniques that you've always done, completely fine to do with these. And they also pop that sentiment in there as well. So you've got just for you, you will also receive special day... Now this one here is happy birthday. It's all really usable sentiments. Debbie's favourite, hello you. Hello you. Uh, thank you. And you've also got in there best wishes as well. You pick them all up, 49.95, which is great value. Or 64.75, platinum members should look at 39.96 or 51.80, uh, which is fantastic value uh, for money. Uh, lots of you there and saying hello already. Uh, apparently I make very strange sounds, according to uh, Mary Lee. It's Debbie that's making the strange <laughs> sounds today, honestly, it really, really is. Uh, let's have a little look at the Christmas florals. You guys are loving these lots of you in the midst of your festive crafting at the moment no doubt and these are great because they cut for you this wonderful aperture and then you've got all the stamp detail and design that you can pop around there as well which is fantastic so this one here is called Christmas fun and then we've also got for you this one which is your uh, I love the little robin on there this is your happy Christmas wishes then we have these ones here. So you've got some landscape, some portrait. This is Merry on High. Then we've also got Sending Festive Wishes. Believe in the magic. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, and also Sending Glad Tidings is this one here as well. That one's great because you could use that one either way, really. It's completely up to you. Uh, right, if you want to go for those, £60 in the UK, 69 and 6 in the US, £48 or 55 25 if you are a platinum member across the pond. Uh, these are beautiful, Debbie. A lot of people, I'd imagine, probably not even started their Christmas crafting yet or right in the midst of them. So great to get some fresh inspiration, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes you just want to sit down and do something refreshing, such as colouring and putting a card together. Uh, and this is really the time that you want to start getting them in for Christmas. I love this collection. They're really under stated they're beautiful designs and they've got the added bonus of having that aperture die cut into them as well so I've just got one of each design here just to have a look at and they're so beautiful uh, I could sit and make these all day long because they're very simple uh, they're good to practice your colouring they have just the, the nicest pictures to colour in which are, are really pretty you've got good stamp sets on there as well I love the shape of this card making that bow shape front but if you want to then just go a smaller design uh, just doing it on the front of those cards having that aperture cut out into it looks beautiful but if you like your tradition you like those ball balls look how beautiful that looks I really love this border one uh, I think it looks really simplistic it's got great surfaces to colour in these are the sort of stamps that you can do with your 
children, with your grandchildren, you can sit and colour them, cut them out, let them make their own cards because they are truly beautiful. You couldn't have a stamp set without Santa. I love this one, Joe. Isn't he gorgeous? He's like a proper good old fashioned jolly Santa Claus or Father Christmas, however you call him, which is lovely. And I also like this one. Wouldn't this look lovely for a baby's first mm, Christmas? Really lovely. Just such a beautiful design. And again, it's got those simplistic tones about it as well. So they work really lovely. You just, I'm going to use my stamping platform. I've already put my piece of Nina cardstock onto here. Uh, and we're going to be using the Happy Christmas Wishes, which is that beautiful robin. I think there's something, I mean, I know you get robins all year round, but there's something special about robin at Christmas, isn't there? Do you it's get just, robins all year round? Yeah, you do. Why well, do I think round. they're only around at Christmas? Yeah, a lot of people think they're only around at Christmas. No, they're around all year round, Joe. Do they not go off on the holidays in the summer Not somewhere? at all. Oh. No, 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 not at all. You get robins all year round. Mm. Yeah, and robins are probably one of the friendliest birds out there. Um, they are the ones that will sit in the garden and they don't fly away too much. My mother-in-law used to swear by them. She'd come, one would sit by her while she was gardening. Really? <laughs> I it wasn't a joke. I was for a punchline there. <laughs> yeah, my mother-in-law. <laughs> I always think, right, excuse me for, excuse my ignorance, but I'm going to go with this anyway. Birds that don't migrate, like they don't have clothes. So are they, like, are they really hot in the summer or are they really <laughs> cold in the winter? Well, they can't be, they can't be both, can they? Well, yes, because they're cold blooded, aren't they? But how are they not then very hot in the summer? I don't, I don't think their body regulates to any temperatures. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. I'm not really, I'm just actually, I'm just talking off the top of my head because I haven't got a clue. I'm not a bird whisperer. Just... <laughs> Neither am I, Debbie. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I take that off, Joe, just can you see I missed a little bit there. So let's just go back in <laughs> uh, and just pop that down just so we can. Oh, we're still not. Perhaps I've just missed that bit of the stamp. So and I haven't inked it up. Not People too do, much of like, a worry. People do like is quite a big thing, isn't it? We have like. <laughs> It is. People put all sorts of things out in their yes. garden, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes. A little sort of. I have to be honest. I'd rather go some fat balls and all yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather go out and. <laughs> oh, Joe! Come on. Honestly, you're honestly, what is wrong with you lot? Um, <laughs> they do. We have like autumn watch as well in the UK, don't we? We all use sit and use. Is it? Well, I've never actually watched it, but I know it's a program where people sit and watch other people's back gardens, don't they? They have hidden cameras in there. Well, nesting yeah. boxes, all sorts of things. Right, Joe. Let me just tell you what colours. Why I start colouring? I'm going to use the dark red blend and the burnt orange blend. Um, you'll find them on the website. We do have the aqua colours, which I'm going to colour in later on in the show. But I'm going to be using these two different colours to colour our um, the red breast on our robin. So let's start off with. I'm going to start off with that orange and just do the top here. So, yeah, I used to, Joe, put out all like you, the fat balls and the nets with peanuts in them. Um, but I couldn't stand the bird poo in the garden. Oh, no! <laughs> Where does it go? Like on your patio? Yeah, oh. everywhere. Just everywhere. Yeah. So, and on the garden furniture, the table. And I couldn't bear it any longer. So, we'd stop putting stuff out for the birds. Um, but we would go and put some stuff out elsewhere. So, in forests. In other people's like gardens? That. No, not in other people's <laughs> gardens. Shocking <laughs> over the fence. <laughs> Throw your fat balls over into number 54. <laughs> I've got visions of you throwing up in the air and there's a tennis racket. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> Boing! Knock, see if you can knock them right up the street. <laughs> <laughs> that not how it was, no? <laughs> oh, oh, loads of people, loads of people saying hello. It was always going to go one way this show, wasn't it? <laughs> South, very quickly. <laughs> Valerie is saying hello. Uh, Sally oh, is in dear. from Zeph <laughs> Zephyr Hill. Zephyr, Zephyr Hills Hill in Florida. What an amazing name. Oh, okay. um, Martha's in Tucson. Chemistry and Biology is here as well. Melissa's in Kentucky and saying hello. Brenda loved the gig loves the giggles. Don't apologise, she says. <laughs> uh, Pammy is trying to type whilst eating. 
<laughs> uh, excited to see Joy. Yeah, we'll be saying hello to the lovely Joy yes. very, very shortly. Um, Val says, hi, Joy and Debbie. I've sent a picture of my craft along. Looking forward to the show. Oh, Great point. So if you did complete the craft along uh, after we went off air, please do send us a picture. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send that into. Um, Andrea's Spectrum Noir part a party bag has arrived. Really pleased with the content. Oh, I'm not surprised. Got to do some colouring. And Debbie is off, says Kathy C. Uh, <laughs> OMG, the, and they're off, says Caroline. Uh, Piers, Debbie. <laughs> infectious laugh says Pamela <laughs> oh there's been so much laughter in the last really couple of has. hours. I've never, I've never heard Johnny laugh the way he has, honestly. In fact, to the point he couldn't even tell me what they were laughing at. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing in this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You do laugh loads. Right there, Johnny. Yeah, Joe, sorry, God, I just, really uh, quiet. Uh, I, don't, uh, <laughs> I just don't know what was going on there for a second. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, that's looking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you can really blend your colours in with these ones, which is really lovely. I think we're also a bit giddy from birthday. Aren't we? That's what it is, Debbie. Oh, absolutely. I down love. From the high. Do you know what? I've so loved birthday. It, everything. Everyone's been just amazing I, I don't know what it is i don't know what's given us that sort of lift but birthday has been just amazing uh, uh for in, in every point of view i don't think we've ever had so many um new launches and we've had just just the best time being uh, even introducing ourselves to tiktok and things like that has been just incredible oh, subject to be. oh uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maureen Hager says, oh, watch starts tomorrow night, 9 p.m., BBC Two. Oh, I love uh, that. Just as we go off air, there you go, perfect timing. You'll be able to watch Launch Party, then switch yourself over to BBC Two uh, and get, uh, or watch Peg made an apple pie during the break. Ooh. Delicious, love an apple pie, Debbie. Oh, are you nearby? Not, I don't, I, I do like an apple pie, not the one from the drive through restaurant, though, because oh, they okay. take about four days to cool down. <laughs> they get hotter, I think, after you leave the, uh, the restaurant. <laughs> They're sort of like <laughs> nuclear almost, aren't they? The hottest <laughs> things known to man. Do you know uh, what I mean, though? I do know what you mean, yes. It's but so I've never hot. had one that I couldn't eat after I've had my McDonald's. Oh, really? Hmm. Or, um, or your other meals that you buy anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pam E loves that. looking in their backyard. Uh, they've got cardinals, blue jays, and yellow finches. <laughs> Not to mention morning doves, robins, hawks, woodpeckers, and crows. That's a lot of birds. <laughs> it's a lot of birds. An awful lot of birds. Woodpecker in your back garden. Wow, so I bet it's noisy. Right, before I go, I'm not going to go on any further, Joe, because I've got one that I've already got coloured. Uh, but what I am going to do um, is cut out, because I've already cut the one out, but I want to show how, <laughs> how these go. So Johnny is laughing so much, he's sweating <laughs> in the gallery. This is the closest he's got to exercise since, tw since 2019. Yeah. Do you know what? They're not going to let this team work together much longer. No. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna pop. <laughs> I'm, gonna pop <laughs> I'm gonna pop this into that space. So you've got the perfect line there. I'm gonna just have that on the inside, so it goes. Uh, so if it takes off, if your tacky tape is a bit tacky, uh, it will only uh, tear the card on the inside. And then we're gonna pop that through. So really nice space there is in there to create that beautiful aperture. Uh, you could use them to stamp on, put it inside the card because it's quite a nice unusual shape. But it's just something different to have in your stash. So you can see cutting that out completely. I mean, that gives the most beautiful framing on there. Really, it's I... quite simple to line that up. I know sometimes they can be a bit tricky, can't they? The oh, apertures. they're brilliant, these are, Joe, because it really, you can see the black line. So nice. it's exactly, so which is great. Now with this one, all I've done, do you know your, your metallic gold pens? I've just gone round the frame with that. So it actually looks like a die cut on the inside. So you can see all the metallic on there, which is amazing. So cutting that out, we've got our one ready. And then I'm going to put a card 
card together here. Uh, Rose says in response to Pam E talking about Blue Jays, Cardinals, Yellow Finches, Doves, Robin Hawks and Woodpeckers. That sounds like a lot of bird poo is what Rose put. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's <laughs> what I would think. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I hope not. I hope not, Pam. Right, so I've created myself a little diorama card. So we've uh, got, but I just want to put it, I just wanted, I like having that um, uh, 3D effect card. And we're just going to stick this together. And I'm leaving it really simple. I'm just doing lots of mats and layers with our colours. So we're going to take these two colours, which I've just popped together, and we're going to pop them on the top. And then we're going to just stick these ones on the side. So let me bring in my tape pen. So we're just going to go down the side of this. Or oh, I will just give you the measurements, just in case you're wondering. So I've done this eight and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then I've scored at one inch, one and a half inches, seven and a quarter inch, and seven and a, uh, seven and three quarters. And we're just gonna pop these two together. Now what you could do, you could always of, um, done the aperture so this itself could have been cut directly into the front but I just wanted to give this some uh, definition and then we're going to pop this in here for mat and layering so going across the papers I've used actually are the ones that are in the nutcracker box so if you wanted to have some beautiful Ooh, we'll be seeing that later. papers yeah there is some lovely ones in the uh, in the box so popping that into the side and then we're going to glue onto this other side. Awesome. So, just, Don't forget there's loads coming up in the show. Loads of bits on the show that might not even get a chance to share with you. So always worth popping yourself over to the website, hitting the shop the show button, having a look at some of the stuff that is coming up. Um, Karen's got uh, all kinds of birds, inc including owls. Oh, I wow. live in the country. Uh, Karen says, and I have a talking, singing parrot living inside the house. Now that's amazing. I'd love to know what the parrot loves to sing and what the parrot's name is. My aunt and uncle used to have a parrot called Percy. And it honestly, it, it took on the voice of my uncle Derek. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did uncle Derek live nearby? <laughs> that's, <laughs> sorry, not my, it didn't. <laughs> they lived in Haverhill. Right. Um, it was. It Very took exotic. on the voice of my auntie Shirley. Sorry. Right. Okay. So yeah, and uh, she. So how did you? Hang on a minute. How did you get your uncle Derek confused with your auntie Shirley? <laughs> Because as I said it in my head, I realised that it couldn't have sounded like my uncle Derek. Because it, it used to say he used to go, "Hello, Del." <laughs> 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 uh, what, what was it saying? Hello, De hello, Del. He's got hello, Del. <laughs> so another, uh, some friends of mine, uh, some friends of friends had a um, had a parrot, and it used to impersonate the phone ringing, and you would not know that yes, it was. It did you wouldn't that know well. it's not the yeah. phone. Like you used to go around there, and yeah. you'd be like, "Oh my, your, your phone's ringing." The people, oh no, that's the parrot. Yeah. And uh, the vacuum cleaner, it could do like oh, completely. No, they're amazing, and aren't my they? friend whose friends it was, his name, uh, his surname was Charity, and the woman had a, whose uh, parrot was had a very thick Suffolk accent. And when he went over, it used to go with that, Charity. So obviously they'd been talking about him when he wasn't there. And then the parrot used to repeat it when he was there. I know, they're amazing birds. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> there used to be, I can't remember where they go, I think it was Bury St Edmunds, and there used to be a parrot in, a, in the garden centre there, and they used to swear at you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the, the staff must have taught it to swear. <laughs> Dread to think what my parrot would say. <laughs> It'd just say, shut the back door. <laughs> And run out and kiss the milkman. Bitchy <laughs> 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 goes again. <laughs> Have you got some time off coming up? I haven't got time off. I'm, I'm just at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still working, but I'm away from you lot. <laughs> <laughs> you not being us, not you the viewers, by the way. Oh, definitely not the viewers. No, I can come in. We've just had those, yeah. All of them, dearing me. 
They're potty mouths, honestly. I don't want to hear <gasps> what they mouths. say. Potty mouths? I do not swear. <laughs> right, so we're just going to pop a ribbon on it. But I've literally just mat and layered. You use that. I'm not even going to line any papers at the side. If I turn that round, you can see it just makes a really elegant, beautiful Christmas card. I absolutely love these dies and stamps, Joe. Uh, Karen's parrot. That is beautiful. Debbie, it really is. Thank Karen's you. parrot says his, uh, his name's Ziggy. Ziggy. Uh, and will sing opera only if he says, sing opera first. Uh, and he makes, a like, makes that like he's on the phone. Uh, so he says hello when the phone rings and pretends to have a conversation with someone on the other end of it. Oh, I, I think that's it. quite fabulous. Know, Johnny does that. So nice. Um, <laughs> 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 Let me run you back through these. Then you see you've got Christmas fun, which is this one here, with the rocking horse, as you can see. Uh, you've also then got Happy Christmas Wishes with the Robin there. This one here is your Merrily on High. You've also got Sending Festive Wishes, Believe in the Magic, and also Sending Glad Tidings. You'll get all of those for that incredible price, saving you uh, almost £18, uh, just over, uh, just under $21. We've got a great deal on some aqua markers for you uh, on the show. Let me share those with you. Get 36 of the aqua markers here. And you'll also get uh, the right cardstock and ink pad to go with that as well. Everything you need, 63.16 or 83.46 uh, there, which is amazing. There's a lot of emojis flowing on Facebook, I'm being told by Colleen. What sort of emojis are they, Johnny? Lots of laughing faces. Oh, lots of laughing face emojis, yes. We do like to have uh, a bit of fun, don't we, here at Crafters TV. Uh, now, um, we have got a very, uh, very special guest coming back. Uh, one of our previous ambassadors, we're going to go and check in with. She made us all cry last time she was here, so, I mean, you know, you never know, it might happen again. Uh, the lovely Joy's here, how are you, Joy? <laughs> Hi, Joe. How you are looking fabulous, may I say, Joy? Oh, not as fabulous as you, Joe. Oh, stop it! No, you stop it! No, you stop it! How have you Hi, been? Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Joy. Uh, how Hi, have you been? Oh, uh, we uh, love you, Joy. It's I looking love you guys. <laughs> it's looking very I festive. You know, I promise to rain it in this time. Oh no, absolutely not! Not on my account, Joy. You go for it. No, uh, it's I, I looking. Know I got a little and I do want to start by saying thank you for the last two weeks. You guys blew it out of the park. Aww. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, everyone who made these last two weeks so much fun for all of us. I've said this before. We know you guys are here to sell product, but you give us so much fun. And really, the deals, the launches, the free gifts, the chance to win prizes. We just love you. Oh, oh Joy, I'm so glad. Joe, wait, I have a surprise for you and Debbie. Oh. Because as this is officially Hangover Birthday Monday, Absolutely. Correct? It is, yeah, that's I right. Made, I have made each one of us a fabulous Bloody Mary. Oh, perfect. I can taste it. I can. I always could reach into the screen there and have a, <laughs> have a, have a little sip of that. Oh, I'm <laughs> tasting that with you, Joy. Oh, cheers, Joy. It's, it's looking very festive there, Joy. I'm loving the little Halloween setup you've got on the go. Well, it's the season, and you know, this is my very favourite time of the year, Joe. I am a true fall and winter girl. I mean, I love the spring and summer, but I'm a fall and winter girl. Oh, um, what sort of thing have you been up to then? What have you been doing? Since we last spoke, it was what? Back at the start of the year, wasn't it? February. In, in uh, this February. Year. It was whatever that, uh, February 8th or 9th, whatever that Monday was. Yeah, and, it was, um, it was yeah, really and, fabulous. You know, uh, what have you been up to since then? What have you been crafting? What's been going on in your crafty world, Joy? I have been making cards and, um, you know, if, if my word last time was gratitude, this today it's inspiration because you guys just keep inspiring us. Oh. You know, I, I, I look at the new launches. I look at, I, I get a fresh look at my older things that I have in, in my stash and everything works together. You know, Spectrum Noir is amazing. You love um, your colors, yeah. don't you? I, I love it. I love it. I love it all. I like to, I, you know, I love to die cut and I love to stamp because I love to color. But I also, with my dies, I really enjoy cutting the dies 
uh, on white watercolor paper and then coloring those. So it's just there's just so much we can do. And the yeah. paper pads. Yeah. You don't even need a diary stamp. You can just cut a, an image out of the pad and make a gorgeous card. Yeah, absolutely. Lots uh, of love coming in for you. I've been working on stuff. I have stuff to show you. <laughs> yeah, uh, lots of people saying hello. Fred saying hello. Rhonda saying hi to you, Joy. D. Gilmore. I'll watch you back. I was working on my stuff, but I want to see her. I was so excited to see Rhonda today. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Uh, Dawn saying hi as well. You got. I mean, you got more fans than I have, Joy. You're literally part no, of the I furniture. I think so, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I know you said you had some stuff that you've been working on. I'd love to have a look at some of the stuff that you've been crafting, Joy. Okay, I'm going to start, Joe. We have a lot to do here, like I said last time. We can't keep chatting like this. No. I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm gonna start th this, this card, how am I doing with Can you see it? Yeah, I can see uh, it. Okay, th this, this card is called, you know, I name all my cards. This one is called For Craig because we all love and miss him so much, and I want to send him, as everyone is, a lot of healing energy. He inspired this because we know he loves Hunky Dory, and this is from the, uh, the flowers on there are from the Hunky Dory Autumn Days collection. Recent launch, and, and then the, the leaves are from our beautiful Autumn Blessings Crafters Companion skeleton leaves. So this is going in the mail tomorrow because I missed the post today, but I'm going to send this to the studio for Craig. Is that someone honking our end or your end, Joy? Oh, uh, you know, it's, I have my kitchen window open, so anything <laughs> about it. It's I'm brilliant. It really is. You know, they could be doing yard work. I'll have to yell and tell them to please be quiet because, hello, it's my return engagement. <laughs> All right, this is from Autumn Blessings. This is called Here Comes the Sunflower. Oh, I love it. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. These, these were cut out of the pan. These are not, there's no dye here. There's no wow. stamp here. This is just from the beautiful paper pad, Autumn Blessings. Really gorgeous. And I got very inspired by that whole group. So, uh, and I do like to do groups. So if I bore you, let me know. I'll move on to something else. No, this never. Called, this is called Pumpkin Patch. And uh, though the, the pumpkins are also cut out of the pad, but the little mushrooms are from the dyes that are available in this set. Yeah. And then all of the leaves, different various leaves from, um, from the past and from the present. Your colors are always absolutely stunning, Joy. Well, that's thanks to Spectrum Noir, Joe. I couldn't do it without you. Okay, this is called, ready, wait for it, Must You Leave? Oh, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, this is Hello Autumn. Hello, you. Hello, Autumn. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so this is the beautiful, um, this is the embossing folder that comes with that collection. Beautiful. And then uh, I, I cut the, I, I embossed, I used the folder twice, and then I cut, I used it as the base, and then I cut some of the images out and just adhered them with our 3D glue gel to the top. Beautiful. <laughs> really gorgeous. How cute is this? This is a thank you. This is called Mushroom Patch. <laughs> I, love, I love that you name them all, Joy. That is so I fabulous. Have to, I have to name them. They can't go unless they get a name. <laughs> I love how shiny all of these are as well. Shiny! 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 Yeah, I didn't do a shaker card, Joe. No shaker, shaker card, no. But this could have been a good shaker card. But this is called the Arbor. And um, these are all our beautiful leaf dyes from Crafter's Companion. And, of course, those mushrooms. They're adorable. That mushroom that mushroom dye set is just really precious. It's I love gorgeous. It. Thank you. And then, okay, this is that gorgeous leaf, abstract leaf thing oh, yeah. that you did a while ago, right? And I know I'm not doing it correctly because it's really supposed it cuts into the card. Yeah. But I love it so much I cut it. Out and then I and then I adhere it on to the card. Nice. So that, I think that is, yeah, and this is really this paper is from one of Sarah's earlier black and gold collections. Yeah. If we mm. I, that's pretty. And I did that. I, I did that with all of our spectrum our sparkling dyes. So that's what, this is called barn door. Nice. Oh, thank. Shut the barn door. Shut the barn door, Joe. <laughs> And okay, I was getting a little carried away with that abstract leaf, but this is called Full Moon Harvest because this is like in the magical forest at night, you know, there'd be that one magical leaf. 
That's done. Nice. Yeah, maybe a little fairy lives on it. Whatever. So this is all. I, I posted a. Um, I posted a picture. I got real inky with our sparklings, and this is what came out of that. So this really thank you because you, you can't get these colors without playing with all the colors. Yeah, it's gorgeous. This is called Night Fall. Get it fall. Yeah, so it's really like woods at night in the fall. <laughs> and that's just one of our nesting circle dies that one of you fabulous people taught me to do. Oh. Okay, yeah. Debbie, you guys are just, you know, I have to tell you, just thank you, thank you. That's so, amazing. Yeah, no, this is, and this is called the frozen, the frozen leaves against my window pane. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. What can this woman not do? The frozen leaves. <laughs> You know. <laughs> oh, Joy, they are beautiful. They really, thank really are. Thank you. Uh, absolutely Bye. gorgeous. Joy, you are literally, we have spoken about you so much since you came on and joined us last time. You're literally like a breath of fresh air in the studio. I could listen to you talk in that beautiful accent all evening. I really could. Um, how often do you join us here at Crafters TV? Do you really enjoy sort of crafting along, chatting along with the rest of our, with our crafting Yes, I, I love that. So back to my word of the show, inspiration, because I think that that word means in spirit, inspiration. And I think when we're inspired, we are coming from our truest place, our heart, our soul. And it's not just the products. The products are very inspirational, of course. Um, but it's it's the community. I think it's all the people. It's it's you guys, um, and it's all of our friends in chat, and um, you know, in the various groups, everybody shares. I mean, I love. I would say this. Uh, sometimes I'll post a card, and someone will say, "Oh, I, I wouldn't have thought of that," or whatever. And I think that that's great. But I'd never look at a card and say I can't do that just do what you do that's your inspiration and it's going to be amazing and that's what I do if I if I I would be very intimidated if I thought I can't make that card so I just do what I do and it's it's working with what you guys bring to us and it's the sharing oh joy well it's a better place uh, for having you in it crafters tv can i say that you are a breath of fresh air and a joy literally a joy uh, it's been a, such a pleasure to chat to you again joy i hope we get to do it again real soon Take care. Bye. Bye, Joy. Bye. Oh, isn't she just the best? I love her. I think she is. In fact, I love. I could literally listen to her talk all evening, couldn't you, Debbie? Oh my God, Joy! I just adore you. You are beautiful and an amazing inspiration to everybody. Uh, yeah, and Joe's right. Just listening to you, you are truly amazing. Uh, so I'm sending you a big heart. Thank you for coming on and being our ambassador for Crafters TV because you are simply amazing. So talking about amazing joy's right we do some amazing products at crafters companion uh, and these dies are a real wow because there's so many different things that you can do with them so being able to create them like this round this is just one piece of card with the die cut on each side on four sides and it really works but if you want to create them as that edgeable card where they go over the top of the card you can see that goes straight into that top you can create really beautiful designs use all your different papers in your stash all your different embellishments that you've got uh, and these, these are great dies to use up all those collections this is one of my favorite things to do I'm going to be showing you this one not this card but a, a similar one uh, in the demo because it's just so pretty to be able to cut it like that um, and then maybe doing it a little bit higher up the card hello you I did, it's just a brilliant sentiment see joy she loves it as well <laughs> uh, and this I love as well being able to to cut them horizontally across the card and then maybe into a stepper card as well so having that on a front stepper really makes that stand out paper piecing um, putting different colors above that uh, and again using all these different elements that you've got in your stash that maybe you haven't thought about coming out for a while so I'm going to be using the best wishes it's a great die to have it's got a beautiful font it's got almost this fun swirly font on this one now I've took a piece of card 
this one is from the rainbow collection that we had, the retro rainbow. Nice. Uh, I believe it is still in stock. And all I've done is created my little card um, and I've put a line on each side. I say a line, I've put a little score line just so I know I get a straight line. So these dies work with cutting above. So all of this will cut out. If I turn it around, you'll be able to see. You can see the cut line going all the way round, but it stops. And then underneath, this is all cut in, but it doesn't cut out. So it will just cut that word out of our cardstock. So I want that straight line. So you can see if I turn that round, the line is pointing right to the centre part of those little sort of tabs that go in. So I'm going to line them up to this end and this end. So we're just going to pop them on there and then I'm going to get a piece of low tack tape and just tape that down. So popping that across there and then we can send it through our Gemini. So I've got the Gemini at hand but I'm going to use my Gemini Junior plates. So we're just going to pop that into place across there and then send that through. So one pass in the Gemini Junior or the Gemini with the smaller plates literally takes eight seconds. So it's no time at all to get on to really being creative with your card. So I'm keeping this quite simple, just cutting out of our cardstock. I love this cardstock in the fact that it's 300 GSM, so it, it's a good weight for your main cards. And I just bring that away and look at that, it cuts out no problem whatsoever absolutely beautiful so this time what I'm going to do because we've got these lines here we're going to cut these away so I'm going to bring my scissors in now where you're doing a card like this I'm going to bring this in and just burnish my score lines because it would have just flattened it a little bit going through I want to um, make this like that gatefold opening, so I'm going to cut it at the, the, the opposite side of the spine, so we don't get none of that leftover spine in there, and we're just going to cut that down to the line which goes across, I think we need a little tiny bit more, and then we're going to cut across to that score line, so just there, and then we'll cut across on the opposite line. I mean, you can use your craft knife and ruler. I'm just uh, using uh, my saw. Oh, cut that a little bit. Is too it fair much to in. say, uh, Debbie, that you can do all of your edible techniques with these dies? So they're going to be suitable for all those other techniques that mm -hmm. we used to do with yep. edibles. Anything, anything that's got an edge, Joe, um, because that's how they work, and it's the best way to use them. So what we're going to do now, I've just got some of that colour, the um, the cardstock here, and I've also got a piece of the pink. So I'm mix and matching all these colours, and I want to die cut this again. So first of all, let's take out those pieces all them pieces out. I love the fact that you get these large words. So if you wanted to paper pieces and cut it out, you could do that. But I'm just gonna do something slightly different. I'm gonna cut this word, but all I actually want is the best piece. So I'm just gonna trim this and cut that along there. So let me just cut that piece across. And then we're gonna uh, tape that down. There we go. So I'll just have it into that piece. Right. A lot of love for Joy. Uh, Rhonda says, agree, yeah. Joy is a superstar. Sarah says, you make such beautiful cards, Joy. I'm sure Craig will love that. And a lot of say, people, Marisol said, well, these cards are just beautiful, Joy. Lots and lots of love coming in for Joy, as I knew there would be over on the socials. If you've got any questions about anything in the show, maybe you just want to share a bit of gossip with us, you can do that. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're watching us over on YouTube as well. That was so lovely doing that for Craig. So, um, yeah, bless him. He's resting well. Right, so we're going to snip this piece out. And we're just having that best there. And then we're going to use our papers for the inside. And then I've got a piece for the front. So, nice and simple. I'm going to line this up using our tape pen. That's the only trouble with having double-sided papers, Joe, isn't it? It's knowing which side you want to use or which side you don't want to use more, which is uh, always difficult. But I do love this pattern. So we're going to pop that on the inside. And then on here, I'm just marrying that up with our pages. So where I cut that off the bottom, that will then go in line with our back pages. So let's pop that on. And then earlier I was looking for some gems and I couldn't find myself some um, pink gems. So uh, I actually found these blue ones. Right. So here we go. Can you see I've got blue, but I have got some sort of pinky ones. So I actually right. coloured them in. I've now, where have I put my pen? Um, was it the... 
I've just had a pen at hand, Joe, and I've I now I've put it somewhere else. Is it on? Is it on the left? Like look me. in your caddy. In your caddy. There are two pens in your caddy. No, not those ones. I'm just going to go across here and just see if we can. No worries. I'd probably put it back, to be honest, but it was, I'm sure it was the magenta one. So I'm going to take this one out. And then if I just colour that in, I don't think it was the magenta one now. Let me try, you know what, I'm going to just use the bright pink. Let's use bright pink. So you can see we've got blue gems, but if you colour them in, oh yeah, it was this one, the bright pink one, go over the top of them, you actually colour your gems a completely different colour. So I love that you can use your alcohol markers in that way. And then I've just got, so this best here, I'm going to pop underneath the shadow, and then I've got the piece of card to go underneath the front. So, oh, I haven't cut that very well. That bit hasn't come off. There we go. And I'm going to pop this onto here. So what I want to do, I want to make sure that that fits okay. Yep, that's going to fit perfectly. Uh, and then I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. So let's just bring in this here to go over the top. So let's find my dotty tape pen. And then we can just, I'm going to go up on that bit because it's, I don't want that coming away. So just being careful, going over the top. And then along there, so we've got that all covered. And then I can just bring in my normal tape pen to go round to adhere that. And place that over the top. How fabulous. So there we go. So that covers there. Oh, got my dotty one. And then that fills in our wishes at the bottom there. So you can see it really pops, makes that pop. We've got some little gems now, which are coloured how we want them. So we can pop those on as well. So just using my, let's just pop them on the side. Just all adds interest to those um, beautiful makes. And I love the fact that we can use our alcohol pens just to... Yeah, you don't um, think about colouring gems, do you? Or, you know, ribbon's the other one that always surprised me. You can colour oh yeah, alcohol ribbon markers. as well. Yep, so we'll just use those three. Um, and then with this one, I'm going to use again, let's just use a scrap piece of card. And we're going to just pop that with our dotty tape pen again over that section. And then we're going to place our best onto there. And again, just moving it to the side so it will make sure we get a shadow. And then I'm just going to use that to rub that down. So then when we turn that over, we've got that more highlighted and then I've just got a little bow here which we're just going to pop in the middle of our card. So nice and simple, but you can see by adding all those colours, those textures, those different mats and layers, uh, makes it look just that little bit more special and looks lovely. And there mm. we go. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, and also loads you can do with these. I've got some of the concepts actually here. I'll take you through them because uh, there are so many different ways uh, of using these. So here you've got something like uh, your uh, Z Fold card, which they are perfect for. Uh, brilliant. Not just use them uh, horizontally, but uh, also use them vertically. Uh, as another great way of doing it. Wonderful on something like your uh, stepper cards here, as you can see as well, whether that's a, uh, a full stepper. Uh, what's this one called, Debbie? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a center stepper. Center stepper, thank you very much. Or again, using it in a very similar way to Debbie's just used it there, you can see this one's, this is really cute actually. Here it's been done as like a little cute sort of fold back card, which I think is really lovely. Uh, using it as a stepper, with it cut over the edge, another great way of using it. Uh, this one here is a, um, it's called a twisted easel. Got there in the end. Twisted easel card. Uh, you can cut them into the aperture themselves to actually make them part of the card concept, which is nice. This is a clever way as well, using four of them uh, and arranging them around the same card. Love this here with a gatefold using two there. Let's get that the right way around. Actually using three sets there. So thank you on the inside and then either side of the gatefold. Uh, brilliant on a little easel card there with it cut over the edge. Uh, this one here, I don't know, what would we call that one, Debbie? Which one that? That's just a um, horizontal cut. Horizontal cut Not card? A um, diagonal cut. Uh, oh, here we go. Shake a card, <laughs> shake a card. Got that one there. Uh, and again, using it as a easel here, another great way of using it with it cut over the edge. So, so many different ways of using these. I love this one here as well. 
at that. Yeah, it's great card. that one, isn't really it? Really lovely, isn't it? Uh, using it as a uh, fold back, again, a great way of using it, or a Z fold, I guess that is, a single Z fold. Uh, and then again, another easel here uh, with them done. So, so many different ways that you're going to be able to use these. And I think that's the great thing about them. You've got so many different sentiments within there, so many different ways of using them. They give you such incredible value. They really do. 49.95 or 64.75. Platinum members, 39.96 or $51.80. Uh, right, let's give you an opportunity to check out those very full baskets. Uh, whilst you do that, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. They're plastic shims sized to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. We have some awesome deals going, so visit Crafters Companion website and find out more. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. The thing about our viewers, Debbie, is they never forget anything. Clarden says, Debbie said yesterday she showed us how to make her bows. I missed the earlier show, so I don't know if she showed us then. She, did you? I did say that yesterday. <laughs> you did say you'd do it. Yes, yes. you didn't. You haven't missed it, Clarden. I'm going to. But good, uh, good for reminding us because we absolutely 100% would have probably had forgotten. Right, I've got a great uh, product to show you next. Now, these are always so, so popular. They are, of course, the Totally Tiffany paper takers. You guys. I love these. They really help to keep all of your A4 cards. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? You okay? Well, I was getting something to show the bow. Uh, the great thing about this is it ke 
keys all over your cars look really neat and sort of uh, in really good condition because what you've got is this hard plastic case on the this hard shell on the inside so it means that nothing's going to uh, damage it which is fantastic now not only do you get the a4 paper taker within here which is brilliant you're getting the cardstock as well so you're going to get uh, it's like a sort of good mix sorry johnny <laughs> you You get the matte black cardstock, which is this one here. <laughs> you get the classic crest cardstock, which is this one here. You get the watercolour card and the printable light. Oh, I've, n I've not seen the printable light card, which is this one, Debbie. Have you? Printable, yes. I used to get that all the time when I it? used to. It's just printable card. Oh, okay. But it's just really nice card to is print this what off through you, Johnny? Onto. Johnny, I thought he'd seen a ghost or something. He was like, ah, in there. I wonder what's going on. Uh, so you get all four sets of those and you get the paper taker yourself as well. 25 pounds or 35 dollars. Uh, 20 pounds or 28 dollars as platinum members. Let's do some bores next. So what Johnny said. Do some bores. Some bores? Bores. Oh, bows. Some bores. <laughs> I'm just pinching ribbon out of the, um, out of the box, yes. Bores. Bores. So hang on, I will be there in a second. So I make my bows because I have a, um, a gadget. Uh, we don't sell them, so it's probably naughty me showing you how to do them, but uh, it's like a, an afro comb. Do you remember like a, an afro comb? Yeah. So, but this is like a bow maker. So basically, um, this is how I do my bows. So you literally wind it round pop it through. So if you've got an Africo, you probably do the same. If an Africo has a, a piece in the center, you just pop that through like that, pull it into place, and then you just tie it at the back. So if I just tie it, and that makes your bow. There you go, Amazing. Look, the perfect bow every single time. Now, if you don't have a bow maker like this, and you have your Ultimate Pro, you can do the same thing on there. So if I take this apart now, Put my bow all together. Oh, look, can't, it's, it made it so well, I can't get it apart. Uh, yeah, if you've got the Ultimate Pro, you do have, get rid of my little sticky mark, uh, you do have these little pegs, and you can make different size bows. So you can make smaller bows, bigger bows, really big bows, because this one, there's another hole there that comes out, uh, and pop it in there. So you can make any size bows that you want with your uh, pegs, uh, and you just literally do exactly the same, wrap it round, take it then around, and tie it. So you're creating the same sort of thing on your Ultimate Pro. And let's just tie that one together. Take your pegs or move your pegs to the side. And again, that gives you your perfect bow as well. And there how you go. Awesome. So yeah, so just different ways of making your bows. But that is how I make all my bows is with this one. Fabulous. So well, I hope that answers your question, Clardon. Uh, we're going to uh, have a little look next at this. Uh, the first time we've ever seen or done a box Sarah signature collection which is amazing isn't it so uh what this is going to give you is over 315 elements and it's like a sort of mini sour signature collection all in one uh in here so i'll let debbie go through it for you exactly what we've got she's going to be an instagram influencer and give us an unboxing that's what instagram influencers do apparently debbie you know take things out of boxes and make videos out of them yeah mm. we need to that's how they make their money isn't, isn't it? it yeah, yeah. Absolutely. To, um... if you want to go for this best price ever by the way 35.99 39.96 mm. and you get bonus 50 points i just love this i love this as the idea is maybe a crafty christmas gift for someone as oh, well Oh, absolutely it's the perfect gift and if you wanted to get someone into crafting get one of these boxes and get yourself a gemini mini because that would be an amazing present because not only can they craft straight away because you have beautiful dies and stamp sets in here or if you just know someone that is a stamper if I turn that round so you can see all these stamps beautiful illustrated stamps here which are absolutely incredible um, you've got the beautiful girl there holding her nutcracker doll you've got your rocking horse the little mouse there your nutcracker himself everything that uh, is is encompasses the nutcracker is on there including all your sort of parappa pum pum and your nutcracker your musical it's the first time you've not sung it. I know. Pa -pa -pum -pum. That's better. Thank you. Pa -pa -pum -pum. 
do, 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 do. Every time I do that, it actually sinks my heart because it makes me think of Christmas, so it's so lovely. Uh, and then not only do you get that stamp set, you get the beautiful dies to go with it as well, which are amazing. So even your uh, Christmas tree there, your rocking horse, your uh, nutcracker, all of those dies to cut out your stamps if you want to cut them out. Then inside the box, you're getting your gorgeous ribbon. So satin ribbon, you're getting three different sizes in three different colours. Yours will be complete. I love this ribbon and love the colourways of this. You're then getting your dew drops. These are great. So where I showed you before to colour them in with your alcohol markers, uh, you can do any of those in whatever colour you want. But if you want the colours to go with your matching ribbon and the papers, you've got the gems to go with them as well. Now, what you do get with this is an embossing folder that creates the stage of the nutcracker and the bedroom there, which is beautiful. But how about if we emboss and then we can enhance? So first of all, you can enhance with uh, inking through our stencil so you can bring that bed to life. You can then put a different one down where you can actually use your curtains, which will go over the top and you just ink through this part. Or you can ink th then do the top part where you can create your 3D effect. So that's a really great one to have. I love this one. It's such a beautiful one. So you actually ink round it. Give this one a spray with your stick, stick and uh, spray, uh, which is repositionable. And then you can uh, ink through here. And it just makes a real focal point for anything that you're putting into the center or your sentiments or your die cuts or anything like that. So a lovely one. Then you're getting all those beautiful papers. I adore these. So these ones have got all your lovely paper. I mean, look at these, all um, Nutcracker inspired. I mean, that's beautiful. Look, the Nutcracker in the background, the rocking horse, really, really beautiful. So if I just flick through these, they're double-sided. You've got all sorts of ones, very vintagey going on here. Um, and everything is just in its, it's in a beautifully presented box. And we've got the solid colours here, eight by eight, so really usable and double-sided as well. So they're going to go a long, long way. And then you've also got your card blanks and envelopes in your A6 size, your card blanks and envelopes in your five by seven, and your card blanks and envelopes in your six by six. So you're ready to go straight away. So card blanks and envelopes in three different sizes, all your pattern papers and your solid colors. You've then got those gorgeous emboss, uh, sorry, stencils, embossing folder, more stencils to go with those. You've got your uh, ribbons in three different colors and your colors. We've got your dew drops. We've got your, your uh, gems. We've also got all your die set there and all your stamps to go with them in a beautifully presented box. And when you've used all your consumables, start using this to put all your cards in or your makes because this really does look absolutely stunning if you've got that on your bookcase or on your shelf or in your craft room. It's a really lovely gift to have just because it's beautifully presented. There's something very nostalgic about the Nutcracker, isn't there, Jo? Mm, it really is, and it's a, a really sort of familiar tale, isn't it, for a lot of people to be able to create something really awesome. You'll get lots and lots of makes uh, out of that, which is brilliant. Remember, uh, as well, this, um, that you're going to be, it says you're going to make 12 cards. That's because you've got 12 card blanks and envelopes in there. You're going to make way, way more than that. Of course, by adding some of your own card blanks and envelopes into there. It's a brilliant kit. It's a brilliant price. I think whether you're using it to create amazing, amazing creations within the run up to Christmas or you want to give it as a Christmas gift, it's completely up to you. 2879 3197 as a platinum member and 50 bonus points on top of there as well. Well, something we re uh, recently launched, and they've been so busy since we have, and it's so lovely to have these in a pad, is our luxury mixed card stocks. Now, what you actually get in here is you get 10 sheets of our amazing pearlescent card first. So you can see just how gorgeously uh, shimmery that is. And then what you get is 12 sheets. You get 12 sheets of pearlescent, and then 12 sheets of this amazing, a uh, completely non-shedding glitter card, which is absolutely amazing. You're gonna get that in the glittering gold, you will also get it in uh, this here, which is the beautiful Regal Rose Gold. And again, that lovely, lovely glitter card there for you. And then this one, which is a sparkling silver. And this is fantastic because I love it. It's sort of like quite a, quite a gray silver in the, um, in the pearlescent, but then a real pop of wow in the glitter card there as well. Make sure you grab those, you get all three of them. It's a buy two, get one free situation uh, with those, which is fantastic. So take advantage of that before that offer ends. Uh, right, we're going to look next at uh, a fantastic set of ink pads for you. 
just bash my head on the counter there. Did you see that? <laughs> just, like, just whack my nose on there. I just don't know how I managed to do that. I really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Yeah, it's fine. Um, right. This is, <laughs> this is the Nutcracker Water Reactive Ink Pad 10 Pack Collection for you. It's been made to go with uh, the... It's been made to go with the Nutcracker, but I mean, it's just a great selection of water reactive ink pads, really. Uh, you've got uh, Bordeaux. You've also got Straw Bale. Smoked Pearl. Smoked Emerald. Cream Topaz. Frosty Jade, uh, you've got Midnight, Pine Tree, uh, Grasshopper, and you've also got the Friar Brown in there as well, which is, which is fantastic. Amazing. Definitely hit it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, we're now going to go, oh, we're going back to Christmas floors. Very busy here. Let's take you back there. Now. Let's go back through what we've got just here. So, uh, I, I love that they're watching it back in there, me bashing my nose on the counter, and all you're hearing is nothing. Oh, that look, I really hurt. <laughs> so you've got Christmas fun, which is this one just here. Then we've also got Happy Christmas wishes. You will also get in here the Merrily on High. You've got Sending Festive Wishes, uh, Believe in the Magic and sending glad tidings. You know you've got a big nose when you bend down, accidentally bang it on the counter. <laughs> Over to you, Debbie. <laughs> oh dear, that was funny. I never actually thought you had a big nose, Joe. <laughs> I think it is quite big. Uh, it's quite, quite big, isn't it? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because I've banged my head on the corner. Of the I area. really and I really laughed when you did that. <laughs> but so. no, I didn't get caught on camera though, Joe. No. no. <laughs> uh, right, I haven't even got my stamp set out, so let's use the Santa one. So believe me, laughing. I know so I've just laughing been laughing. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Trouble is, everyone's going to go and watch it back now, Joe, because you highlighted it. <laughs> what time was it? What a Wally. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to use the gorgeous Santa. Um, and what I'm going to do with this one is we're going to get the die. Now, this die has a square edge. And what we want to do with the square edge is make sure that where we put our stamp is going to be make that straight. So I'm going to bring this one in, so our Santa, and just hover that sort of over. And just so we know where we've got that sort of straight edge. And trying to make sure I've got a similar amount so i'm going to bring this over a little bit more that's it so about roughly about there and then we're going to bring this one in and just rest that on there so i know roughly that that's going to give me a really nice straight edge so pop that there and then we can pick that up oh it's got my carrier sheet there and pop that on top that way then i can pick this up and then know that we're going to be okay with that i'm just going to bring my um little um magnets in a little bit more let's bring that i don't one. think i've ever heard everyone so giddy in one show you know i don't know what is yeah, what's going on it's been a very today. strange day it's been this sort of it's been this sort of birthday come down that we're on isn't it that's what it is you know this sort of birthday hangover i think it's left everyone in a very strange mood everyone's all very giddy because they've got all their brand new bits it's sort of like the boxing day of of our birthday celebrations isn't it yeah absolutely i love boxing day do you? Yeah. What, more than Christmas Day? I think Christmas Eve might be my favourite Oh, yeah, day. I love Christmas Eve. I love yeah. Christmas Eve. I always found, I was going to say it, I always found Christmas Day was, could be a little bit of a letdown. Oh, I missed that totally. Oh, how have I missed that? Oh, it's because, look. <laughs> <laughs> I've been magnet in the yeah, place. I mean, I always found I've, I have been known to find Christmas Day a bit of a letdown. I very oh. much enjoyed it last year because I didn't go out on Christmas Eve, Debbie. I and mean, the problem is, you go out on Christmas Eve, you're always a bit hung there over on Christmas go. Day. Oh, Once, that's probably why. Because I would always work late usually on Christmas Eve. One Christmas Day, I was only awake for nine hours. I slept until midday. Wow. Slept until midday, got up, and was back in bed by nine pm. 
No, that's yeah. such a way. I always go on holiday the next day, but um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I've done that a couple of years. But because I had, we had to be a responsible adult last year because I had Christmas dinner at mine and people coming to me, I did very much enjoy it. Oh, I love Christmas Day so much. No, Christmas for me is very special. I love it. And this year I'm staying... Well, most years I have. I didn't last year. Um, uh, I stayed at my dad's um, to wake up Christmas morning with him. Uh, but this year I'm actually staying at my daughter's the night before. So Christmas Eve we'll stay there. And then um, I'll wake up with my granddaughters on Christmas That's Day. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm it's really just hoping, so magical. really hoping to go away. My friend uh, Nick works as cabin crew for one of the big Ooh. airlines. And uh, if they have to work over Christmas, they get to take someone with them guaranteed Ooh, uh, so we're hoping nice. but you have to they have to sort you have to bid on the trips that you want to go on so Nick just told me today we've bid on he's bid on a trip to go to Cape Town for Christmas for three okay. nights wow. which would be incredible wouldn't it yeah absolutely Christmas there. so hopefully we'll get to go somewhere which will be fabulous oh that will be amazing yeah a lot of people I mean I know that there's people that um that are, are fr some friends of ours they have their Christmas day on Christmas Eve so and their Christmas dinner and then just so they can chill out on Christmas Day and not do anything just Which have I their Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve yep they do that's all the, Christmas that's, Eve. that is a how most people across Europe celebrate Christmas isn't it uh, I know uh, Ger Germany do yes yep. uh, pretty much everywhere uh, apart from us um, oh, okay my uh, Spanish friends of mine they all work Christmas Day they actually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve is the big is the big day the evening of Christmas Eve specifically Ah, oh, okay. Mm. I know it's the same in uh, Poland. I think Italy is the same as well. Germany, as you just yeah, said. Germany, definitely. I think it's France. They have it on the same day as us. I'm not sure. Hmm. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't realise that it was uh, a lot of other countries. But no, I do. Uh, I love it. Love Christmas Day. So let's pop this on his hat. So again, I'm using the uh, Tri-Blend brush. These have got a really soft nib and just beautiful. So you will find them on the website. Popping that in, so easy to use. So we're just going where those sort of shadows are, where the darkest sort of patches will be. I'm just having a little read about where celebrates um, oh, where celebrate on Christmas Eve? Yeah, well, it's, it seems that so. So some people could celebrate on Christmas Eve. Some countries actually celebrate, and their main day is Boxing Day, which is twenty six. Oh, okay. Um, yes, governments countries including areas of Christian. Blah, blah, blah. That's me. That's me reading anything. <laughs> Um, wow. Uh, wow. Christmas Day is a public holiday in Eritrea that is celebrated on the 7th of January. Oh so Eritrea goodness. has theirs on the 7th of January. Oh, I wouldn't want to wait that long. Christmas Eve in Nigeria. Christmas Day in South Africa. If we go there, it will be Christmas Day. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, no, no. I'm going to Africa. Not for Christmas. <laughs> Right, so we've coloured all our Santa there. I'm going to then use our uh, Joe Silver. Sorry, I'm just, about all these, I'm just uh, a bit of a Wikipedia <laughs> black hole here. <laughs> right, so all I'm using is our Fair Skin Blend. Uh, it says exactly what it is, so it does our fair skin. It means we can then add that highlight, add a bit darker round where the darker areas will be. And then again, we can go in a bit darker under his eyes I mean I'm doing this really quickly you will take a little bit more time I am just going to bring in a really light pink just to give his cheeks actually I think we need a bit more of a pink there going on there we go let's give him some proper rosy cheeks and then with our beard and now because Santa's got this beard and it is um, white it's good to have that sort of highlight uh, in the grey and this goes really light which is quite nice so let's just, uh, there we go, just popping that into where the, uh, oh that's exciting. 
So Johnny's just said he's got some pictures from the craft along. So I'm really, really excited to see those. I uh, love the craft along today. Did you, Joe? I did really enjoy it. Al's been in touch. I don't know what this means. He says, I'd love to go somewhere full of superheroes, Joe, um, for Christmas. Oh, what did you say? Something to do with I don't know, soup? something to do with going somewhere for soup. Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, Al's got a... He tells dad jokes and I just don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> right, we don't get it. We need explanations, yeah, please, Al. We're, we're, not, we're not following. <laughs> um, in Australia, we sit around in our swimmers. It's so hot. Amazing. I went to... I once, uh, Debbie, spent all of Christmas Day on a plane. Did you? Yes. Where was you going? I Australia? Flew, I left the UK at 7am on Christmas Day. No, hang on. Let me get this right. Was it Christmas Day or was it Christmas Eve? Yeah, I left the UK the evening of the 24th of December. I flew to Australia and I arrived in Australia the morning of the 26th of December. So the only place I had Christmas was two hours in Hong Kong, that was it. Was you on your own? Yeah. Wow. It was amazing. We had Christmas dinner in the sky with Brussels sprouts, I know, in a small can tube. I was thinking this is not going to end well. And uh, <laughs> party hats and crackers, all the st uh, crackers, that all the um, all the cabin crew were dressed up in Christmas stuff. <laughs> Honestly, it was magical. I loved it. Sat next to someone I didn't know for 24 hours, one of the best Christmas I've ever had. Wow. That is amazing. It felt like that film with, is it John Belushi in it? Um, Groundhog Day? No. no. Well, no, maybe it's not John Belushi. Blue's is it called Brothers. Driving Home for Christmas, where he's the shower curtain ring seller? Uh, shower curtain? No one no. out there? Planes, trains and automobiles, is that what it's called? Ah, oh, that's what it, it felt that's like that. Was. John, John Candy. Candy, that's yes, what it felt. Course. That's what it felt like. A real that kind of vibe about it. Uh -huh. Very strange, though, uh, just being on your own. Hong Kong airport, having a Starbucks. Very hot on Christmas Day. Anyway, uh, Panda, enough about me. Panda Craft says, my friend does that with her family. They get together on Christmas Eve, have Christmas dinner, then they don't have to spend Christmas Day in the kitchen. Yeah. If that's... you see your family and your friends on Christmas Eve, though, what do you do on Christmas Day? Yeah. See, I like having Christmas Day as Christmas Day. But each to their own, whatever suits. You do you, boo. And so you say, so you're actually going away this year? Hopefully. We, don't, we won't know until much nearer the time, unfortunately, Debbie, where, where if we're going. I thought it was going to be like east coast uh, of the US, uh, but Nick says he's bid for a trip to go to South Africa. So if we get it, if he gets to fly on that, we'd get to go for three nights. Very nice. Mm. So you definitely get somewhere. Hopefully. I mean, you might have Christmas off and then we won't get anywhere. And then I'll spend it at home. Probably on my own, because I haven't made any plans at that point, Debbie. Oh, <laughs> Joe. Just you me. Can, you can come to me. Just me so. and a Christmas dinner in a can. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I'm doing a little frame thing going on here. It's just because I want the same amount of frame all the way round to heighten the image. Uh, but I'm going to make a shaker card. But I don't want to fill my shaker card. Um, I don't want to waste all my shaker card pieces by it going everywhere else. So just make your frame where you need it. So when you turn it over, it stays all the same length above. Uh, but only this piece is where your shaker element will go in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this over the top. So I'm going to take my pieces off first. So let's uh, take our, um, our carrier sheet off. Do you notice I didn't say the words to it, Joe? What, to foam on a roll? <gasps> foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Hey! You love it, don't you? I do love it, yeah. You absolutely love I it. I do love it, Joe. I'm very disappointed Debbie Robinson refuses you. to sing it now. She won't sing it. Well, I'm... I'm dis no, I bet she, she does with Ben. I bet she does. She won't. She, she avoids saying... She, again, won't say it now. Why? Apparently. Because she just knows that we start singing it. The oh. other day she called it everything but foam on a roll. <laughs> yeah, but I bet she does it with Ben. She probably just knows you won't sing it and she'd have to sing on her own. I do sing it. You didn't just then. I do sing it sometimes. No, you don't. Oh, <laughs> just tipped out of the bag. <laughs> 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 
Are you okay, Debbie? <laughs> We're just tipping it everywhere, look. So I'm just trying to get it in that square where it's supposed to go because we want to keep it all in there. So I'm just going to, as we turn this round, you can see that we're going to pop that into place. So I've got quite a lot in there. So we're going to make sure. And what you know what I should have done? I should have actually put two layers on. But actually, we've got loads of shaker in there. Look at that. That's good. So we're going to pop that on. And then I've just got a piece, a, a card blank that I've done here that we got from um, uh, making our card blank. And then we're going to pop this into place. I've then got my Santa Claus is coming to town, which is one of the uh, sentiments in there. So just using this to go along those sides. And again there. And then we're just going to mount that on the front of our card. Oh, and do you know what? We've got that green bow that we made earlier, so we could use that on this card. We've got our Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming to town. I hope so. Yeah, he will. He'll I hope come. so. Did I you hope know he doesn't have to self-isolate on the way. Did you know you can watch Santa on Christmas Eve? Can you? Yeah. Oh, did you not know that either? No. I didn't know that. Where do you watch him? Has he got an app? No, yeah, you can watch him online. You can track Santa across the world. It's wow. so good. Yeah, ben didn't know that either. I said, haven't you done that with your children? You can track him. And there we go. So we've got our shape. Oh, <laughs> I've done it upside down. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I was talking. Because you are talking about Australia. Well, that's that's what, what it was. I just wanted to make you at home. But there we go. So Could you stick another card black and have some sort of like a stepper? There yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just do that. There you go. Brilliant. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> Patricia says, my daughters usually spend Christmas Eve with their in-laws and then Christmas Day with us. At uh, Christmas, I decorate two trees and make a huge dinner for the family. Sometimes we go into New York City during the Christmas holiday to oh. see the tree at the Rockefeller Centre. Oh, it I love is that. magical. I would love to do that. I would love to do like a pre-Christmas trip to New York, like first weekend of December or something like that. Do loads of great shopping, go ice skating, keep my fingers in. Uh, yeah, it'd be great. Right, uh, I uh, want to share with you a couple of pictures that we've had sent in. Oh, from the craft along. Rhonda's finished hers. Oh, There's a picture, the lovely Rhonda that joined that. us. Love that. Oh, I'm so thrilled that you joined in. Beautiful, Val sent us this Val. one in. Really gorgeous. Oh, look at that. It's Oh, that's fabulous. I love that. Yeah, really lovely. Uh, amazing. Oh, thank you for crafting along. It's beautiful. Right, let's give you an opportunity to check out. It's very, very busy out there right now on the website. So whilst you do that, here's all the details of US delivery. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set, so you'll never be without one. So get your Pokey Tools while you can, check out our Crafter's Companion website and stock up.
Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Oh, lots of you chatting about uh, Christmas and how you spend Christmas. Um, Bridget says, if you like Disney, then Disney World is extra special when it's decorated for the holidays. Can you imagine, Debbie, Disney at uh, Christmas? Mm, be amazing, wouldn't it? We could pop to Paris and go and have a look there at oh. Christmas, Disney for Christmas. That's Al's, one of his favourite places, Paris. Is it? Mm. I only went once, I didn't enjoy it. Oh, I've only been once, but that was a long, long time. Yeah, maybe it's the company, Charlotte. Maybe we should go together. Charlotte went and didn't enjoy it. Why didn't you enjoy it, Charlotte? Charlotte, yeah. Charlotte in Paris. Charlotte in Paris. <gasps> Emily in Paris season two drops in November, Debbie. We need know, to make sure we book the day off to watch wait. the whole thing Absolutely. in one day. Yeah. <gasps> if you haven't watched Emily in Paris on Netflix, do yourself a favor. Once this show ends, make sure you've got a whole day spare Go watch it. Have you seen it, Charlotte? Isn't oh, it? It's I amazing. It. Isn't it? Johnny, yeah. have you seen it? Oh. oh, it's so good. I wish I hadn't seen it so I could redo it all again from the start. Oh, I'm going to do that anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's. I'm yes. going to rewatch it before the first one. Anyway, enough about our TV habits. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to this. Uh, right, we're going to have a look at the aqua markers, which are, are these ones here, uh, and these are our amazing, uh, of course, watercolor markers that you've got. Primary is the first one that you've got here. Scarlet, crimson, burgundy, orange, gold, yellow we've got as well. Aquamarine, teal, navy, purple, magenta, and the red violet. This one here is nature. This has got sunset, amber, chestnut, fawn, desert, topaz, evergreen, sea green, kingfisher, peacock blue, marine, and boulder. <laughs> This one is your floral, and this one has in here the begonia, the rose pink. You also get the blossom, the marigold, the jasmine, the sunflower, the meadow, the bud green, leaf green, orchid, heather, and the wild flower. Uh, and then you've got the watercolour cardstock and the noir black ink pad. You get everything you need, Debbie. Yes, uh, what a brilliant yes. selection. 63, 16, or 83, 46 if you want to go for these. What are we going to do with these then, Debbie? Right, let's do a few different things here. So the great things with aqua markers is you can do so many different techniques with them that they are so amazing. So with the pen itself, if I show you here, you've got two nibs. You've got one which gives you the beautiful brush nib and the other side gives you the bullet nib so you can do your um, drawing with these you can add little detail into it as well uh, they are incredible the best thing to use them on is your glass mat or your um, sort of splodge away mat uh, and I'm just going to put some color down onto our surface here and this is the best way to use it because it doesn't uh, you can get so much more from your pens and not have to put too much lay down and then we're just going to go that from that one into our red so just to show how we can do just a beautiful background so I've just got us some water and I'm going to use my flat ended brush but I am just going to grab myself a piece of kitchen towel 
So what we're going to do is pick up, you can either wet your card first, which allows you to then spread it a little bit further. So let's wet our card. I'm then going to pick up our lightest colour and we can start laying down that colour. And it's just giving us that really light ombre there. Then I'm going to go into my darkest colour, just going to add a little bit more water to mix it. And then we can start bringing that colour down as well. And then I'm going to go into my yellow, uh, my red and bring this colour. So as you go down, you just pick, keep picking up the colour and lay that down into your cardstock. So once that starts to dry, you just get a beautiful sort of sunset appeal with this. So I'm just going to bring in this colour to go over the top so we can blend those colours out together. So once you've got that and that starts to dry, let me just pop that to the side and just pick up this colour. This here you can use, so you can just put your cardstock straight into it. So anything you can do with watercolours, you can do with that as well. Now I haven't got anything, I, in fact I'm going to leave this for a second because I'm going to let that naturally dry because what I also want to do is bring in and how we can colour with them onto our stamps. So what I've done is I've already put one of these stamps, our stamp set, which is the Merrily on High, one of our stamps that we've got on the show. Uh, I've popped that into place because what I want to show you how we can colour our beautiful image with that as well. So I'm just going to ink this up. Now this time, instead of using our alcohol proof, which was this one here, I'm now switching to our waterproof dye. So make sure when you're using these the aquas, uh, you actually use them with your waterproof and it will protect your ink, which means the lay down of ink you can put water directly over the top and it's not going to dis distort your image. So we're just going to press that down onto our card and I'm going to paint directly onto our card stop. So I'm using the watercolour card. What I've, what I've also done is I've actually created a, um, an actual card blank. So this is our card blank. Oh, got a bit of card inside. Um, so I've actually made that card blank and then we're going to do our watercolour. But what before I do that, I'm going to cut that out. So let's just cut out that piece in between uh, because I don't want to put it through the Gemini when it's uh, maybe a little bit damp. So just take it a little bit of tape and we're going to cut that out. Oh, I've finally been able Ooh. to book a trip to Germany for Christmas with Grandma, says Victoria oh, Nelva. Oh, lovely. You will have, if you're going to Christmas, if you're going to the German markets at Christmas, you go to a German market, you can eat my favourite German food word, Kartoffelpuffer, which I just think is, <laughs> how amazing does it sound? Kartoffelpuffer, mit Apfelsauce, uh, which is like a, it's kind of like a... Sausage? Sorry? Sausage? It's not sausage, no. <laughs> we, we know all already about that. You can have a bratwurst, of course, at the Christmas markets. It's basically like, kind of like a hash brown. It's like grated oh. potato, deep fried. You either have it... Uh, with apple sauce, like savoury apple sauce, or you can have it with icing sugar over instead and have it sweet. Oh, really delicious. Kartoffel puffer. There you go. <laughs> so I didn't. Uh, mine slips. Can you see? It's just moved a little bit in. But you'll forgive me for that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is take our pens. So I've got all these different colours. Let's take first of all our, our uh, different colours of our yellows. So I've got the uh, topaz and the, mar the marigold. Yes. I haven't got my glasses on, so um, yeah. So I'm going to put both these colours down and we can sort of mix them in together. So now what I'm going to do different this time is I'm actually going to be bringing in my uh, sparkle brush because your sparkle brush you uh, just use straight as it is. You can pick up that tone. So I'm going to pick up that yellow and collect it and we're going to just start painting on to our bell. So this is the clear overlay sparkle pen. So it means that you're getting no mess. You can just paint directly onto your image uh, and you can see our image is staying completely fine. I can then go in with the darker colour and start adding that tone oh, around nice. the edges. Yeah, makes a real difference there. I don't think people often think about being able to get shading, do they, when it comes to watercolour, but you really can. Yeah, you can, absolutely. And there's so you've got some really beautiful colours in here as well. So we're just going to go in and paint our image. So, yeah, really lovely. Now this one, I didn't plan this, so I haven't got a finish card so we're just going to do um, as much as this until Johnny tells me otherwise um, but it is just a really relaxing way to use these so picking up some more of that putting that darkness around 
I love uh, watercolours, Joe. It's one of those things that you forget to do because I am a bit of an alcohol colour girl. I love the alcohol markers, so I tend to just use them because they're the less messy of our mediums. Uh, you just colour with them straight off and uh, they're easy to do. But then when you use techniques like this and you can get just some amazing results. I absolutely And they are going to be them. sparkly, those bells, aren't they? They are going to be sparkly. So when they start to dry, I'll move them into the light and you'll be able to uh, see just how sparkly they are. But you can see it's quite quick. You can shade really quickly. In fact, you could colour this quicker than you could um, with your alcohol pens, which is why I then think, oh, why don't I use them en enough? Why don't I use them more? So pick up the darker one. And I'm going to just bring in some of that dark shade in again, just some more, because I just want to add that to the base here because I'm watering it down a little bit. And I'm going to do under those leaves and then under the bell. I mean, doesn't that look pretty? So, so lovely. The bit inside the bell is called a clapper. Did you know that? A clapper? Yeah. Ah, well, that That's makes what sense. they mean when they say going like the clappers. Going like the clappers. Is that true? It must be, because that's, that's well known. For, like, oh, it's going like the clappers. Yeah, and actually, I never really so thought what it's, that it's means. It's the inside of, like the, the of the bell, yeah. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, now let's bring in some of our green. So this one is our alpine green. And then I'm going to actually add some moss green as well into these. And then we'll have a little bit of red. So let's have some flame red that we can do our berries with. It's quite a lot of, quite a lot of bits to a bell, it turns out. Uh, you've got a yoke, a crown, a waist, a lip, a clapper, a mouth, and a sound bow, wow. and shoulders and cannons as well. All of that on a bell. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. It's a lot, isn't it? That is a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I love the what bell ringing is called as well as a uh, actual activity. Campanology, Campanology, Debbie. yeah. Because oh, I said that before, didn't I? Mm. Um, when I when the I couldn't I couldn't and I still can't remember now. Um, there was something that came out and I was calling it campanology, but it wasn't. That's mm. not what I knew. It was bell ringing, but I was calling it something else. It was the one where we had like. Um, oh, Staycation, that's it. I still can't remember what it's called. Staycation. Yeah, you and I it was just called campanology. I couldn't. Yeah, because I just couldn't couldn't remember what it was called. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So we're just going to add that green. Got a little bit of squeezed a bit there, but we're just going to add this one in. Do our <laughs> add our green into here. So I'm doing this really really quickly. And then I'm going to add, actually, a little bit of other green into that spine. There we go, just to give that a bit more greenery. I love the effects you can do with watercolouring, and it's so forgiving. And if you do something wrong or you don't like it, all you have to do is put some water on it and then dab it with your kitchen towel because it will, um, it will actually just soak it up. So popping that in. Oh, here we go. Victoria's oh. come through. Uh, Victoria says, I love a kartoffel puff and bit applemus, uh, applesauce. Uh, I can make them myself, but nothing uh, better than when mama makes them. Uh, he, he, it's a must in our household or family. However, oh, however, however, the region, the region where I'm originally from has a special dialect name for them. Hold on to your craft counter, she says. <laughs> this is a really hard <laughs> say. Oh. Oh. Can you I say I don't know it? if I can say that. Grumbi Kikulscha. Grumbi Kikulscha. I think that's what they're called. How did, I, how did that go, Victoria? Let me know. Grumbi Kikulska. Grumbi Kikulska. I'm not sure. I think that's what it sounded a bit. That sounded a bit uh, Scandinavian, didn't it? Let me know, uh, Victoria. It's a lot of CH, SCH in there. Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue. Right, so we've pretty much done all that apart from our... Oh, we've got some more just at the bottom here. So let's just pop those into place. And then all I'm going to do, Joe, is come back to this other piece that we had in a minute. So let's pop that on. 
And if you're worrying about your nib of your pen, once you wipe that away, it just goes back to being your clear pen. So even if it's a tiny bit stained, it won't affect the, the um, performance of your, uh, your nib. So let's take that away. And all I was going to do with this is just put some beautiful cards behind. Uh, and then you can see, you can create that beautiful. And if I move that into the camera, can we see that? Oh, shiny. Look at that. Yeah, look at that sparkle. It's amazing. So these are great pens to work with. But also, if I bring this piece back in that we had, uh, it's great for your faux bleaching technique. So just flicking water onto the top just creates really cool effects. And then I'm just going to let that soak up just for a bit because it's lighter sort of colours. We pop that over the top, it will then start to lift out and you'll create really beautiful effects. And then you can start putting them behind there as well. So all different effects you can do with them. But the pens, honestly, are just a wonder to use because you can just use them on so many different techniques and they're lovely. Mm. They are absolutely awesome. Let me run you through them. Which ones are you going to receive in here? You are going to get uh, the primaries, which this one's here. Uh, you will also receive as well uh, the nature and you'll get the floral. 36 different uh, colours in there for you. You will get the watercolour cardstock within there and of course the you will get the noir black, uh, the noir black ink pad uh, that you can hear just there. Don't know what that strange noise was. <laughs> Do you know what you just said? What? You said you'll get that noir black ink pad that you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> that, you can, that you can see. But there was a strange, did you hear that? There what was, was a it, very Jake? strange noise. What did it sound like? It sounded like chips frying, but really loudly, <laughs> didn't it? I don't know what it was. I'm not sure. Did you hear it at home? Not <laughs> a clue. That was the strangest noise I've ever heard. Very, very weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's the ink pad that you can hear. It's so noisy, those ink pads. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> 63, 16, 83, 46, if you want to get your hands on that. Uh, next up, I want to talk to you again about the Nutcracker uh, collection. It is absolutely amazing. It's the first time we've done a boxed Sarah Signature collection for you. Uh, it's beautifully packaged as well. Everything in here that you could need, uh, from ribbons and gems uh, to embossing folders, stamps. Oh, you've got all your dies in here as well. There's absolutely, uh, absolutely loads of gorgeous goodies. You've got stencils in here, a whole host of amazing uh, pattern papers and card stocks within there as well. Really, really gorgeous. Card blanks and envelopes too. It's amazing value. It was amazing value when we bought it to you uh, at the higher price. Even more incredible value now because it is your best ever price on this, which is amazing. 50 bonus points in here. I love that you even get all of the gems you need too. Uh, right, 35.99, 39.96, or if you are a platinum member, of course, 28.79, 31.97. 50 bonus points available for you on this. Very, very busy on this. You guys are loving it uh, I think great to get now and start creating amazing nutcracker themed Christmas um, projects or of course to give to someone as a gift I think it's going to work beautifully either way as Debbie said make these up and maybe give them in the box I think the box is absolutely stunning uh, what would you like to share with us on this one Debbie yeah let's have a look at a few samples and then I'm going to do a demo with this because it truly is beautiful it's really nostalgic it's proper Christmas in a box uh, and it looks beautiful so you've got the Christmas tree die that you get you've got that rocking horse stamp and die you've got the beautiful papers you've got the gems you've got the sentiments everything you need to create the most amazing cards something really traditional something that looks really fun these are great for the kids the grandkids to color in with you there's dies there's stamps there's embossing folders I mean this embossing folder look how beautiful that is in the background and you've got a stencil to enable you to do all this you've got your presents your dies uh, and stamps to do those you've got baubles which we're going to show you in this one as well lots of different ones oh this one says pull shall we pull that pull it go on oh that's uh, good isn't it oh it's it won't go back down now look ready pull oh, and it's colored that's clever isn't what it what is that it's called is it a, a magic piece of colored acetate it's called a magic card what it's called a magic card so hang on it's not colored when it goes in but it's colored when it comes out yeah i've got to come have a look at that Sorry. <laughs> it's very really clever isn't it well you've got to know it it's magic it's a magic card can I pull it? Does it work yes. for me if I pull it? Of course it will. <laughs> oh, 
Yes, it does. How? Look at that. Uh, I can see how. I'm not telling you. I'm not going to ruin the illusion. It's magic. It's it magic. Is magic. Yeah, it's magic. But it's very clever, isn't very it? Very so, clever. Yeah, very clever. I have a feeling Debbie Robinson may have done a um, a craft along with. On a magic card. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think she did. Yes. Um, yeah. So just beautiful designs here. I'm just going to show a couple more with the Nutcracker as well because that's really lovely. You got the grandfather clock with that little mouse uh, and the rocking horse as well. Lots of different designs that you can do with them what i love about it joe is you have everything you need to craft straight away so all your card blanks your envelopes to send them your gems your papers everything that's in there so first of all i've just took a sheet of the beautiful papers and cut them down and mat and layered them onto some black card and then i've made myself a little easel card here just something a little bit different so i've done it as a long card and i've done it in two parts so you can see if i cut it i've cut it here and then just added that extra piece onto the front to create the easel and we're going to stick this one in place so i'm just going to bring in my tape pen and adhere this to the front uh, victoria said no i absolutely butchered <laughs> the pronunciation oh bless you <laughs> sorry bless i you. love how you kept it in i tried yeah uh, victoria said i absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that word oh she's tried well to give done. me some more techniques apparently it's less it's less sure and more sure Oh, Grumbi Kashulsha, maybe. That sounds a bit Czechoslovakian. I'm not sure. I think we'll have to just leave it there. I think I, uh, anything above and beyond Kartoffel Puffer is outside of my, uh, my, uh, and I mean, Schmetterling uh, and uh, Blumenek. Uh, apart Blumenek. from that, that's outside my, uh, my um, capabilities. Thank you, Charlotte. Always there to remind me of my failings. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> she loves me really, you know. She she does. She just said she does. We just have like that annoying brother and sister relationship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like when I'm trying to pull a jumper over her head or, you know, all of those sorts of things. Right, so there's our foam pads. We've just done another piece there. Pop that into place. And what that's going to do, that's going to leave as our stopper, so you can see straight away. So that in itself, Joe, is a beautiful card. If I could turn that round, you don't have to do a lot else because you've got the beautiful papers to create that sort of card. But in true style, we want to do it a little bit more. So I've got myself a piece of card. I'm going to take my box and have a look inside at what we need. Um, and I want a sentiment, so I'm going to use this one here. And I also want that. And let's take the piece on earth to start with. With. so we're going to use this sentiment and then I'm going to uh, get myself some of those um, oh no that's what I want they're on here uh, the baubles so you've got these baubles here and I'm going to take these off and we're going to just stamp these out and then we've got the dies to cut the baubles out so take all them off pop these on here and use our stamping platform. Is there a magic card kit that's available to buy, asked Dieta. I don't know, good question, Dieta. No, we've never done a card no. kit, but actually that's a really good idea to put towards the, um, the product planning. Uh, because, yeah, that would be a great one to be able to do them. Uh, honestly, if you go and look online you and just type in magic card, uh, you will find tutorials on magic card. There you are. So I'm just going to actually, I'm gonna, I've got a um, die cut that I've die cut here. I just cut myself some little panels uh, and we're just going to uh, place that onto there. So I'm going to, let's do that. In fact, let's pop that under there so that will stay in the same place. And I'm going to use one of those as well. And then we can do it at the same time. That's what I love with this stamping platform. We can just pop everything on at the same time. Pop in that into place and just pick all those up. And then I'm going to use my, we're going to go back to our alcohol markers. So I'm going to use our alcohol proof ink. And then we're just going to ink our ball balls up and our sentiment. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Don't forget what's happening tomorrow uh, here on Crafters TV. I call Wake, it's a triple Debbie Robinson day uh, tomorrow. I've had a triple Debbie, uh, Debbie Fisher day. 
today and a triple Debbie Robinson day tomorrow. What a lucky boy I am. Uh, so wake up call tomorrow, myself and Debbie. That'll be at midday in the UK, 7 a.m. if you're on the East Coast. Um, oh, craft along with a slim line aperture dies tomorrow as well. Uh, that'll be at 3 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. East Coast time. Uh, and then launch party in the evening. We've got the shadow stamps, uh, botanical 3D folders, uh, ribbon threading as well. We'll have some uh, slim preview of some slim line cut and emboss folders as well. It's going to be a very, very busy day. It's very also nice. my last day as well. So, uh, yes, not ever, just for a few days. Uh, <laughs> my last day of, on shift is what I was, I don't know why I stopped talking there. Uh, so, yes, Ben will be back with you from uh, Wednesday uh, for a few days, which will be delightful. I'll be back with you then after tomorrow uh, on Sunday for Halloween. Halloween. Mm. Yeah, spooky. Spooky. Yeah, I can't believe how uh, quickly that's come around Halloween. Right, so, mind you, saying that, I can't believe how quick the year's gone, Joe. It's just sped by this year. And they say it, don't they, every year it gets quicker and quicker, and that is so, so true. It's all, it's, there is a, there's a reasoning. Would you like it, Debbie? Oh, yes, please. It's because as you get older, comparative as for every year you get older oh, let me see if i can get this out the concept of a year seems smaller because it's such a it's a smaller percentage of the time that you've been alive before that so you think when you're 10 years old a year is a tenth of your life whereas when you're 40 a year is two and a half percent of your life does that make sense? Yep. So relatively, it, it feels like a less amount of time, but it isn't. It's exactly the same amount of time. Yeah, and Charlotte's right. It's depressing. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. I just see every day as an opportunity, Debbie, to, you know, carpe diem and all that. <laughs> and I'm the same. I think every day is an opportunity, absolutely. But it still doesn't stop the year going really quickly. <laughs> oh, I think it's exciting when it goes. I think, you know, I'm quite excited to find out what's next. Yeah, but well, that's what's going to happen still, in the next bit? That's because you're still young. I'm not young, Debbie, anymore. Well, you... 35 now. Well, that's young. You, I could be your mum. <laughs> could you? <laughs> yes, I, I could. I don't think you could. Well, maybe, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could be my mum. <laughs> I could be your mum. I could. Could? Yeah, I yeah. could. Absolutely. Debbie's... Oh, I'm not going to... Yeah, I don't mind my... I'm 52, yeah, so I would have been... You would have been... I would have been a teenage You'd bride. You'd have been 17, but... 17? Yeah. But it could have been. Yes. I could definitely be Charlotte's mum. Yeah, because she is uh, just younger than my son, actually. Right, so I'm going to finish colouring those in because I have already... I'm going to bring these in. Let me just bring these ones in. I've already coloured, so you can see we've got all these. So we've got our three baubles. We've got our piece on earth, so we're going to pop these onto our card. So bringing that back in. We've got that nice little stepper there, and then we've got our piece on earth, which we're going to pop into place. So, popping that on there, and I've used again those pattern papers, but I've used the off cut for this. So, all of this has come from one sheet. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, make great use of that. And then I've got a little bow that we're obviously going to pop on there. So, let's pop that on the end. And then at the top, we're going to have our baubles hanging down. So I am going to use, uh, where's my, I've put them somewhere, somewhere safe. Let's use these ones. And we're just going to pop these on. And I'm going to do these at different overlapping them. So pop that on there. That's going to be our top one. And we're going to pop this one underneath. So let's pop that one on the bottom. So we'll have that coming down there and then we've got our bauble coming down from here and then we're going to overlap that one onto, let's do that coming down there. Oh, is someone <laughs> laughing? Who's that? Johnny and Charlotte are laughing so much, they've turned they've their turned chair back off. off. And then I but wondered where that was He's laughing so from. hard, I can hear him laughing through the wall. What's going on, Johnny? <laughs> 
I have never, I have never heard anyone laugh as loud as Johnny. No. He has got the biggest, loudest laugh. And there we go. So nice and simple. But really, we've only used one sheet of our card and then placed some ball balls and a sentiment on there. And you just get really beautiful results uh, using that kit. And that's just one card of so many that you can make from that kit. It's amazing. It really, really is. It says make 12. And you don't make many, many more than that by adding a few of your card blanks and envelopes in there. Over 300 elements in there for you as well. And the first time we've done a box star signature collection, so uh, really great to be able to get your hands on it. No doubt there'll be more of those coming later down the line. Right, I'm going to give you another opportunity to check out, uh, and then after that, we're going to come back and do the card of the show vote. Before we do, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Their plastic shims size to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. We have some awesome deals going, so visit Crafters Companion website and find out more. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. Uh, that wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Patty says, I could be Debbie's mum and your grandma. We'd love that. We would. Uh, right, Debbie, should we do card of the show? done five demos i'm going to try and get another oh, we've done four trousers. demos sorry four demos i'm going to try and get another one in awesome um so our first one was our uh, edible so the statement word uh, our best wishes so number one number two was our beautiful robin number three was our lovely santa claus i've probably not got them in the right order have i 
Mm. Oh, it doesn't matter. And number no. <laughs> I'm going to win anyway. Number five <laughs> and number four is our Nutcracker. So <laughs> one, two, three, and four. There Here we, we go. go. All right, uh, we're going to go back to statement words. Let me run through the six different sentiments that you've got in here. Really awesome because they're edibles as well. So many different ways you can use these. So you've got just for you, your special day, a happy birthday. You've also got hello you. Didn't say it. Thank you. And also best wishes there as well. She's ignoring me, it's fine. Right, uh, anyway then, Debbie, do you think we've got time to squeeze another demonstration in on these? Yes, I think so. Fabulous. Even if we don't get it finished, but we might do actually, we, um, we will actually make this in. So let me just find, I thought I had the die. Yes, I do, there we go. So we're gonna use the happy birthday one. Now obviously the happy birthday one is slightly smaller to fit all the words into the die and keep the dies the same. So I've created my little card blank. So this card blank is a four by seven and a half and I've scored in half at two. Uh, but I haven't, sorry, I've, I've folded that in half but I've, I've actually drawn a line across so I know exactly where that's gonna go. You can always uh, rub your line out afterwards. So we're gonna have that and place it onto our uh, piece there. And then what Three we're gonna wins, do... Three wins, Debbie, three wins. Three wins. Three is the winner. Card number oh, three. Oh, number three. God, that was really quick. It doesn't right, take long. So, no, it doesn't take long. Um, so that was one, two, three. That's the um, Santa. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Should we get the card of the show vote, the card of the day vote underway then? Yes. Uh, in that case. So, oh. uh, number one, Debbie from a Wake Up Call. Number two, mine. Oh, yeah. From Craft Along, uh, which is that wonderful uh, photo album. I don't have any friends, so it hasn't got any photos in it, I'm afraid. Uh, that's that one. Or you can go for the shaker card, shaker card number three. One, two, or three. Get voting right now. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Back to you, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. So I've drawn that line and then we've placed that onto there. Uh, take off your tape oh, a little bit more carefully than what I've just done uh, and then pop that through. So your die here will cut out. I love the fact that all these bottom dies will cut out and you can paper piece them back in if you need to. So we just take that out. You can see we've got our birthday and these pieces here. Um, what you can also do and what I've done, so we're going to use this as our score line. So let's place this to the side. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and then what we're going to do, and the reason I didn't want to score it, because I didn't want to score through the actual word, so score afterwards and then it's easier to do. So we're going to do that at the two uh, inches and then along there. And it means when we do that, we can pop that up and our pieces will all um, pop up into the center so it Perfect. creates a completely different style of easel card so then what you're going to do uh, what i've done on my uh, finished one i've actually used a stencil now this stencil is from sarah's oh i'm trying to think where it's from i'll get it, it is garden from... party yes so from the garden party. So I'm just so you can use any stencils that you've got, and it's just really nice for adding uh, extra detail around here. And I'm just going to bring in our pal fig. So just dabbing that Debbie. in. Debbie. Yep. Oh, oh, did it win, Joe? I've got. I'm going up. I have got a card in card of the week this Whee! week. It won the craft along one. Uh, so I've got my. I mean, I was a bit presumptuous of me, but I did write my name on it already. You know, just say. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, so it's going to go up. And also, you know what, Debbie? I'm here on Sunday, so I can canvas for votes as well, which is quite fabulous. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah, so yes. I'll pop this up onto the... Uh, to onto be the honest, Joe, you definitely deserve it because you just done an amazing job. And I love the fact that you crafted along with me this time. Debbie's got a craft along tomorrow, though. And you know what Debbie's like? She always wins with her craft along, doesn't she? She does, yeah, she does. So I'll put that up on the thing. I've even put it on a stand as well. That's how proud of it I am. Oh, I love that. So nice. Thanks, where's, guys. Where's the stand? Is that on a stand? Do you want to see it? it on the stand? 
I've just dropped my sentiment. Oh, oh no. Never mind. Never oh, mind. No, 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 never no, mind. No, no. So I've got all my pieces here. What I'm going to do is paper piece, or not paper piece, we're just going to pop a green piece at the back here. Pops on a little stand so it really shows it off to the best of its ability, you see? Oh, oh look at go. that. Uh, do you know what I'm really impressed as well? Because you even managed to get your um, your wrap done. Exactly. To wrap the dies. So yeah, you did so well. Thanks, Debbie. Great teacher, you see, that's why. Oh, bless you. Are you going to craft along with Debbie tomorrow? You could get, you could get blend, loads of cards. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if we do it again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ben will come in. I bet he hasn't got any craft alongs. I'll be going, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm like, why haven't I been giving Debbie craft alongs? I could alongs. craft along with Debbie tomorrow. What do you think, Johnny? Yeah. Cutting boss folders tomorrow. Oh, yes, there we go. that'd be good. All oh, the slimline ones. Yeah. Yes, very we nice. We'll see, watch this space. Absolutely. Right, so we're going to pop that on the bottom here. So we're doing this, we're doing this in record timing. Um, placing that inside. So you can see that really enhances where we put the stencil. And I've lost my sentiment, which is very annoying, but we are going to just use our butterfly. So I've used a butterfly and we're going to use that to, um, to just pop in the middle or use the wing in fact, and it's the wing then that will help stand that up. And then let's use our butterfly here to go onto the top. There we go. And then when we stand that proud, just need to fold this piece in, stand that up, and that creates our beautiful easel card. And there we go. So it did have another little sentiment, but looks fabulous. Amazing, absolutely uh, incredible. Can't believe you managed to get that done as well uh, that quickly. Let me just, um, right, let me just take you through. I'll take you through some of these concepts uh, that you can do with this particular collection because they are brilliant how uh, these have been put together. There's loads, because they are edgeable, of course, it means the amount of different things uh, that you can do with them is quite amazing. Uh, so great on your stepper cards. Uh, also wonderful for things like your centre steppers. I love it with the over the edge there. Uh, this is a really um, effective technique. Uh, just using it as a very, very simple card. Uh, then also, this is quite cool, like a little double fold back card. Uh, and we've got a, another, what's that one called, Debbie? It's a double stepper card, isn't it? Uh, amazing, got a twisted easel here as well. Uh, so many different ways you can use these. Uh, great, uh, as an aperture one uh, there too, which is fantastic. Uh, right, Debbie, it's been an amazing day, hasn't it? Yeah, really lovely day. Really I've amazing. I've, yes, had a right, you, I've had a right good laugh as well as uh, creating some amazing uh, things. You've done some incredible demos. I mean, what more could we want, eh? From I know, exactly. TV? Absolutely. It's just been, uh, yeah, a, such a great day. And I won't be back now till next Monday. So, a um, week yes, oh, a week away. A week today? Mm, oh, yes. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. Are you here all day? Yes. Yes, yes. Fabulous. I'm here for a few days, I think. So, so we'll uh, be together yeah. for quite a few shows. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's going to be good. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of that. fun, a lot more giggles, and uh, and I'm you sure. need to behave. Well, I, I need to behave. <laughs> I need it's the other way around, isn't it? Uh, yes, massive thanks to Debbie. Uh, massive thanks to Johnny and Charlotte next door in the gallery uh, as well. They were adequate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were amazing, is what they were. They are amazing. Uh, Jake uh, as well was, was also excellent. Uh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> I don't know why I find myself so funny today. I don't know why I do. It has been brilliant. Make sure you join us back here tomorrow. Uh, we will have another fabulous day for you. Triple Debbie Robinson kicking off at midday in the UK, 7 a.m. Uh, East Coast time, uh, when we've got that incredible wake-up call, uh, which is coming your way. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Uh, have a great uh, day if you're in the States. Enjoy the rest of your evening if you're here in the UK. Bye-bye. <laughs>